Good morning, children. Again, we will continue with the chapter frequency distribution. If you remember, in the previous lecture also, we studied or we discussed about the frequency distribution in which I told you how to classify the data and how to organize the data in the form of statistical series. Now, again here we will continue with the cumulative frequency distribution. Now, let me recall what we studied in the previous chapter in brief. In the previous chapter, I told you that statistical series can be arranged in three forms, individual series, discrete series and continuous series. In the case of individual series, no frequency is given and details about individual values are given in the data, right? Whereas in the case of discrete and continuous series, the frequency of the given data is given or frequency of the given values is given and you have to arrange the data in the form of discrete and continuous variables. And then uh, when you are arranging the data, there are two ways, inclusive method and exclusive method, what we discussed earlier. So in the simple frequencies or in the simple frequency distribution, always the frequencies are given. And you can just make it yourself that when the, whenever the word frequency is given, simple frequency distribution, that means the frequencies are given along with the variable or values, right? Now, in the cumulative frequency distribution, this is another term. Now, what do you mean by cumulative frequency? Cumulative as the word denotes, it is a added form of frequency. The frequencies are added together in progressively. That means, each and every frequency we keep on adding and we show the cumulative added value of the frequency. This is known as cumulative frequency distribution. Now, here you can see the cumulative frequency I have given here, frequencies are added and expressed in the cumulative form. So, in the cumulative frequency distribution, frequencies are added and expressed in the cumulative form, right? So, these are important points. In the cumulative frequency, whenever the cumulative word is there, you just make up in your mind that cumulative means the added frequencies, right? So, here frequencies are added and expressed in the cumulative form. This is known as cumulative frequency distribution. Now, let me give you an example here. You can see here, the class interval is given, first column, second column frequency, and third column I have given you cumulative frequency. This is denoted as CF. This is a short form of cumulative frequency. Here, this is an imaginary data what I have taken. Class is 10 to 20, then 20 to 30, and so on. And in this case, I have taken the interval of 10, that is equal class interval. And in the class interval of 10 to 20, the frequency is 4. What does it mean? It means that in this class interval, there are 4 number of people or 4 number of, you can say, frequencies. Frequency, any, any variable, what I, you are given. Suppose you are taking the marks and the number of students. So, this shows that in class interval of 10 to 20, we have four number of students. Same way, 20 to 30, 6 and so on. So, frequency as I told you earlier also, it is 